Emily Hunt. I'm Dr. Clark's assistant and an auxiliary instructor at the BioClear Learning Center in Tacoma, Washington. I'm going to walk you through Dr. Clark's case. Let's review the injection molding process before we go into composite reduction and the three-step polish. First, select the appropriate matrix, then trim the matrix appropriately, making space for the rise and fall of the attachment. With the matrices in place, etch the entire tooth. Rinse and dry thoroughly before starting the injection molding process. The first step of injection molding is to wet the entire tooth with adhesive. Air thin, then inject heated flowable apically into all interproximal spaces. Inject flowable from facial and lingual. Inject the heated composite into the pool of uncured flowable. Use intentional excess to avoid any underfilled areas. Then an instrument is used to give general shape to the uncured composite. Use brushes to remove excess flowable in interproximal areas. Make any adjustments, then light cure. After light curing, use an explorer to release the matrices from the tooth. After your gross contouring is complete, using your coarse diamond and disc, you'll start the three-step polish. Step one, use a shofu brownie to marginate the composite. If you're using an electric handpiece, reduce the RPMs to 12,000. Step two, use coarse pumice in a disposable profi cup to create a matte finish on the composite. Step three, use the jazz polisher with water and heavy pressure. This will create the long lasting high shine polish. 